Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain the working of logical operators NOT and OR in Python. I shall explain the basic working of NOT and OR operators and then how to evaluate Boolean expressions like these. In the simplest terms, NOT negates a condition that is NOT of false is true and NOT of true is false. The operator AND joins two conditions and returns true if both the conditions are true. Otherwise, it returns false. It means that true and true is true, false and true is false, true and false is false, and false and false is also false. The operator OR also joins two conditions and returns false if both the conditions are false. Otherwise, it returns true. It means that false or false is false. False or true is true, true or false is true, and true or true is also true. When multiple logical operators are used in an expression, we also have to consider the precedence order of logical operators to evaluate the expression. Precedence order of logical operators is NOT has higher priority than AND, and AND has higher priority than OR. With that said, let us now evaluate some expressions. Let us take this expression as the first example. This expression involves AND and OR operators. AND has the higher priority. Therefore, TRUE and FALSE will be evaluated first. TRUE and FALSE is FALSE. Therefore, the expression becomes FALSE or TRUE, which finally evaluates to TRUE. Let us see another example. In this expression also, and will be evaluated first, so the expression becomes false or false, which evaluates to false. Here is our next example. This expression involves all the three logical operators, NOT and OR. As NOT has the highest priority, NOT TRUE will be evaluated first, NOT TRUE is false, so the expression becomes TRUE or FALSE and FALSE. Now AND will be evaluated first, and the expression becomes true or false, which is equal to true. Our next example is this expression, true and not false or true. This expression involves parentheses also. In any expression, parentheses are given the top priority. Therefore, false or true will be evaluated first, and then the expression will become true and not true. Then, not true will be evaluated, and the expression becomes true and false, which is equal to false. Let us see this expression now. It involves relational operators also. Relational and arithmetic operators have higher priority than the logical operators. Therefore, in this expression, all the relational operators will be evaluated first. So, the expression becomes true and false or true and not true. Then the expression within the parenthesis will be evaluated. And then the expression will become true and true and not true, then not will be evaluated, and then the expression will become true and true and false, which finally evaluates to false. In Python, numbers can also be treated as Boolean expressions. Zero is considered false, and any non-zero number is considered true. Similarly, any empty object, any empty string or tuple or list, set, dictionary, etc., is considered false and any non-empty object is considered true. The keyword none is also considered false. Sometimes we need to evaluate the expressions involving such values and logical operators. To evaluate such expressions with ease, let us understand the working of AND and OR operators in a simpler way. AND returns the first false value and if no false value is found, then it returns the last value. For example, 0 and 2 will return the first false value that is 0. 2 and none will return the first false value that is none. A and B will return the last value that is B because no false value is found in this expression. Now, OR returns the first true value. If no true value is found, then it returns the last value. For example, 0 or 2 will return the first true value that is 2. 2 or none will return the first true value that is 2. 0 or empty list will return the last value that is empty list because no true value is found. 
none or zero will return the last value that is zero as no true value is found with these concepts we are now ready to evaluate any logical expression here are some examples consider this expression true and false and true as it involves only and operator it will evaluate to the first false value so the value of this expression is false now see this expression as it involves only or operators its value will be the first true value that is true in this expression involving only and operators the first false value is the empty string therefore the value of this expression is the empty string in this expression involving only or operators the first true value is the number 5 therefore the value of this expression is 5 in this expression involving only or operators there is no true value therefore the value of this expression is the last value that is 0 and in this expression involving only and operators there is no false value therefore the value of this expression is the last value that is 23 let us now see some more examples to clear all these concepts in this expression not 5 will be evaluated first because 5 is considered true not 5 is false so the expression becomes 2 or 3 and false 3 and false is false and therefore the expression becomes 2 or false which evaluates to 2 now see the expression 2 and 3 and 0 or 4 2 and 3 and 0 will be evaluated first 2 and 3 and 0 is 0 therefore the expression becomes 0 or 4 which is equal to 4 our next example is a bit complex but you will see that it can be evaluated very easily in this expression not 6 will be evaluated to false and the expression will become 3 and 0 or 4 and empty list or false then ands will be evaluated 3 and 0 is 0 and 4 and empty list is empty list this way the expression becomes 0 or empty list or false which finally evaluates to false our next example is 5 and 6 remainder 3 or the string xy here 6 remainder 3 will be evaluated first and the expression will become 5 and 0 or xy next 5 and 0 will be evaluated to 0 and the expression will become 0 or xy which finally evaluates to the string xy let us now see the last example of this video this expression involves relational and arithmetic operators also these operators will be evaluated first and the expression will become false or true and 3 or not false and empty list now not false will be evaluated and the expression will become false or true and 3 or true and empty list then both ands will be evaluated and the expression will become false or 3 or empty list which will finally be evaluated to 3 I hope that with this explanation and examples the concept is quite clear now as practice and self test you should try to evaluate these expressions their values are also given here for you to check please click the like button and write in comments if you want the clarity on some other python concept also don't forget to subscribe to this video if you have not yet subscribed and share this video as much as possible